Yo, what's up everybody? We're back, and this time we're taking a look at the Elder Scrolls Legend, the beta for the Elder Scrolls trading card game. Uh, so you've got your profile over here, thanks for like your name, uh, your title, which you earn in game, your rank, so if you participate in PvP, online rank matches, trying to increase your rank, that's where it's shown. And then you get daily quests, which results in sometimes cards, sometimes gold. Um, And there's something. Like, I think if you level up, then you get this card at the end of the season. And the card rewards change every time. So, anyway, the cool thing about this is there's actually a story mode that you can do. When you first play, that's all you have. You have to go through chapter one of the story to unlock these two. Then you have to go through chapter two to unlock this. Then you have to beat this to unlock that. So let's just jump right in. Uh, so, what you do when you start the game is you pick a faction and a class. Apparently you can change that whenever you want in the game, but depending on what kind of race you pick will depend on what sort of rewards you get from the game. So, like I chose a Wood Elf, so whenever I get Wood Elf bonuses for leveling up or completing story quests, what that means is because of my race, I am much more likely to get cards that capitalize on having wounded the uh, opponent's enemies. So when you go into story mode, you click on chapters, and then you have a brief cinematic to kind of set the stage for what's happening, and then you play the match. You know, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, if you play that, uh, the games that come out. Uh, so let's just jump right in, and I'll explain the game mechanics as we go. Yeah, no one in this tavern knows where the Emperor's forces are camped out. Or maybe the locals just aren't fond of the Imperials. So here you see special conditions that there's only a single lane, usually there's two, and there's only room for six creatures, and you'll also have broken bottles causing damage at random. Um, I guess we'll stay with the Black Marsh Smuggler's deck, even though I really prefer this deck, but I don't really remember what it does. Yeah, let's just keep it and try not to cry. So this shows you, this is the story. So he goes first. Fight is broken out in the tavern. Watch out for flying bottles. Why are they trying to kill us? Are they assassins? Dominion operatives? They're north. This is what we do for fun. So like any card game, you get to pick your starting hand. Hey, there we go, I actually have a one drop. So I should probably hold on to this guy. Let's play this first. And go there. Oh, that is so Come cool. and warm yourself! Why couldn't it have just attacked me? So, usually there's two lanes, and they're bisected. This lane here is bisected, and each field has an effect. So usually, like, this lane over here is a shadow lane, which means when they're first played, creatures are first played, they can't be attacked. This lane's almost always normal, from what I've seen so far. So I guess we have no choice but to play this guy. Call that turn. Why does it keep I have no hitting fear my creatures? Of cowardly skeever. So yeah, you play item cards, two creatures. Uh, so basically, you have 30 health, you have 5 runes. Every 5 damage you take, a rune is destroyed. When a rune is destroyed, you draw a card. And if that card has Prophecy, which none of my cards currently do, that means you get to play it for free that turn if you draw it as a result of this rune breaking. And the goal is basically just to get your opponent to die first. This one offers something tasty. So I just gave him lethal, so what that means is that any creature that I attack is Modern to be destroyed, Modern. no matter what the difference is. <laughs> Which is really handy. You can destroy like a 7-7 seven, seven minion. This should be good. Just by having a lethal. Oh, Jesus. Alright, what do I want to do? 
I have four mana. So I think I want the to play power this. Of the Customers only. And then kill that. <laughs> and call that a turn. So, jeez. Your time has come. What does that say? An enemy rune is destroyed. Morthal gains two attack. Well, that's super rude. So these help you play more cards in one turn. Only if you can second them. You won't even see me. And there we go. We destroyed one of his runes. All right. So let's hope that doesn't hurt us. Oh, that's Farewell, fool. They run like good. All right. So sometimes uh, cards have like certain conditions. Like this one is if you have more health, draw two cards. Oh yes! Finally, I got lucky. Other cards have like. Yeah, so if the top card of your deck is a power card, you uh, gain the effect of also guard. So this t down here tells you what your deck is. Agility, Endurance. This guy is a strength and willpower deck. So not exactly a good matchup for me, which I just realized. So he has five attack. Oh, this guy has lethal? Definitely. Playing him. Saying I don't see you. Drink a man potion. And we're gonna play this the guy because he has guard. So what that means is that my other creatures can't be attacked until this guy is attacked, and he also gives me plus one magicka. So now we're just gonna go face. Call that a turn. I like it. By our service we honor Kai! Okay, so good. He doesn't have to give another guy guard. Alright, so that guy just got nasty. Or that girl, sorry. Oh! -ho. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna give her, give him a lethal. See and then we're gonna just be like, see him later! We don't want you messing up anything. Then we'll play this guy. Come on. I raised the spine of obedience. No, it didn't work. Oh well. Then we'll attack. Boom! So slow and steady wins the race. We still have two elixirs in your teams. Oh yes! So see, this is what I mean. It, it uh, broke my rune. I happen to draw a prophecy card. They make so now I basically easy. get uh, Come and warm basically yourself. get to free summon. Oh, well, that's that sucks. So now his creatures get plus two attack. Play this guy. I draw power from these trees. Face my blade. Then we'll just go face with everybody. This should be good. Oh well, that's rude. Kajit has had enough. Then we'll just attack him. Oh, he gains plus two attack for attacking. Woohoo! Love it. Ah, oh, well, that was I rude. have no fear of you, cowardly skeever. All right, so all he has to do is hit me once. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Ow. That was rude. Oh, hey, I love this card. Sweet, so there's also action cards which you can just play immediately. And look, I didn't gain back a rune, but I did a lot of damage. So, three, four, five, six, seven, we can win this if we just give a creature two attacks this turn. So that's what we're gonna do. Face my blade. One, boom. Face my blade. Boom! And then let's finish it off with the troll because who doesn't want to kill a troll other than a troll? Boom! We won. Nailed it. Almost halfway to level up hype. Game rewards, my favorite part. Ooh, well that looks so fancy. What is this? Oh, we got a card back! What? Let's go! Can I open this? I cannot. Whoa! Intelligence relies on trickery and magic to defeat its foes. So there's like a bunch of different attributes that you can build your decks around in this game. There are agility, endurance, willpower, strength, intelligence, and I don't know what else. Those are the five that come to my top of my head. 
So Lightning Bolt deals 4 damage, and if we draw it as a result of a rune getting destroyed, that's just like a free 4 damage to whatever we want. Shackle an enemy creature. Now that's a really annoying effect. That basically means that you just immobilize an enemy and it can do nothing until your next turn. So in the story quest where you fight the spiders, that's where it becomes really difficult. Like, the creatures themselves are not hard. It's just that the thing has like 30,000 shackles, so like none of your minions can do anything. And then the bonus effect of this is uh, you play that, you give this to someone, that minion gains two attack, two defense, and you also get to draw a card. So that's pretty cool. Added to Dunmer Adventures. I'm gonna have to play that deck. If the locals weren't lying, the Legion should be nearby. There they are. Hail! I am Tyr, Knight Brother of the Blades. They don't look pleased to see us. So basically the premise of the story is that there are these people getting ready to go to war, and the dude that reads the Elder Scrolls is recounting the story of the hero. And who is that hero? Why, it's you, of course. So let's go back and see if we can't open up that pack. Not on this screen. Packs. Oh right, no, this is just collection. I don't care about that. Card packs, there we go. Let's open it up! What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Oh, he looks so fancy. What is this? Imperial Siege Engine. Plus one, plus one for each other friendly creature. <gasps> that sounds so dope! I want it. Ooh, that looks dope. Uh, plus one, plus one for each other friendly power creature. Oh, baby. And breakthrough is means it deals a lot of damage whenever you attack the opponent. Steel Skimtar, that's dope. Two, two attack, two defense. Rihad Horseman has plus three attack and zero, plus zero defense and breakthrough while equipped with an item. Oh man, combine these two, man, and you're just rolling. I already have that card. Toon Smuggler, move another friendly creature. When a friendly creature moves, give it plus one, plus one. I am assuming that means move lanes, which normally you can't do, except through special effects. So that's pretty cool. Pretty nice pack, I would say. So, we are going to sign off there. Just wanted to give you guys a brief look. Uh, so in normal play, there are two lanes, as I said before, instead of one. But, uh, it's pretty interesting so far. There are tactics involved. It's not nearly as tactically intensive as, say, Duelist, but this game's not trying to be a Duelist game. It's more like Hearthstone and traditional card games. It kind of reminds me a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! as well as, um, like Magic the Gathering, maybe, with some Hearthstone mixed in. So anyway, we're going to be playing some more Elder Scrolls Legends. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you liked what you see. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts about this? And, uh, are you playing? If so, what's your favorite faction? What race are you playing? Have you played PvP yet? Are you excited for this game to come out? But anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. You all have a great night, and we will see you later.